Hey Sarah, I'm back. As you saw from the title, this video is gonna be another kind of oddball video. So yeah, here we go. A lot of things have been getting on my nerves lately and I think it's only because I'm stressed by other things. So I'm noticing more and more things that piss me off. And honestly, most of them aren't super major things and I really shouldn't sweat the small stuff, but they've been eating at me lately. And yeah, here's my list in no particular order. The first one, people who don't use their turn signals. Is that really so difficult to move that little lever up or down to let me know what the hell you're gonna do? Is it? No. Use it. And to kind of go along with that one, people who are just driving along in front of you, everything's peachy keen, and then they slam on the brakes and then signal that they're turning. Can you say ass backward? The next one on my list is people who always try and one-up you. That just irritates the shit out of me, whether I'm in a good mood or a bad mood. So you're telling them about something, say like, oh yeah, I went to this really awesome concert, and blah, 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 they're my favorite band, and da, 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 and I had a great time. And you're just telling the story because you're excited, just to tell it, just to share. And then someone comes up and is like, yeah, well, I went to this other concert, and it was amazing, blah, 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 and it was ten times better than the one you're talking about, because I was at that one, da, 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 and you're just like, really? Really, douche nozzle, did I want your opinion? No, I was just telling my story. Shut up. Here's one that's been getting to me a lot lately is people who say that they are completely unaffected by the media and advertising. Really? That's bullshit. If you read the newspaper, watch any kind of TV, listen to the radio, or even just walk out your door and walk around and use these things called your eyeballs, you are affected by the news media, any kind of media, or advertising. Get over it. You can't escape it. Ugh. And then there's those those wonderful people who think they know fucking everything. That is so irritating. When you're sitting there trying to explain something to someone, and it can be the most like random thing, just completely unimportant. You're just explaining something just to explain it because they don't understand it. And then there's someone, well, oh no, well that's wrong. You got to do this first and this first and that first. No, no, you, you've got it wrong. And I Okay, fine. They asked me to explain it, but since you're so goddamn smart, why don't you do it? And then I'll sit there and criticize you and see how you like it. Okay? All right, bye. Okay, this one happened to me recently, so it's fresh in my mind. Kids in a movie theater, no, screw that. Other people do it too. Just people in general in the movie theater who kick your seat. They know they're kicking it, too. It's not like, oh, you know, I crossed my legs and accidentally kicked your seat and it happens once, maybe twice, in a two-hour movie. But no, those people that constantly shift and move and push on your seat with their feet or put their foot on your seat when they know you're sitting there and it's pushing you forward. Really? That is so unbelievably rude. If no one's sitting in that seat, feel free to put your friggin' feet on it and push on it and use it as a footrest. But if I'm sitting there, put your fucking feet on the floor. Oh my god. That, ah. Oh! That's a big one. It's so, it's so not important. It's so not life changing, but it is so irritating. I just paid $10.50 to come see this movie. Two hours, two hours to escape all the other bullshit in my life to see this movie. And you're really going to sit there and push on my chair with your foot. That's when I should turn around and slap you. If I didn't think I would get arrested, I'd do it. I've thrown pennies at people before. Well, they once. But yes, I'll do it. Watch it. Oh, this one happened to me at work yesterday. Okay, people who ask, how are you doing? And then either walk away, like that's just a question you ask just to ask it, or they ask you and stand there and you start to tell them how you're doing and they just ignore you. If you don't want to know, don't ask! And then I feel bad because I've kind of trained myself to just say, oh, good, and leave it at that. But then you get the people who genuinely, like, were asking to know, and you say, oh, good, and walk away, and they're like, oh, 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 damn. And so I feel bad. So sometimes I'll just kind of, I'll give you that, that moment to make sure you're still listening. And if you are, I'll, I'll, you know, divulge more information. But if you're just like, oh, and look away, and I'm like, well, fine, and then I walk away. It's like false concern, fake sincerity or something. It's like, oh yeah, how are you? And you're like, oh, I'm good. Da, da, da. And then they're like, bloop, bloop, bloop. I'm on my phone. I'm incredibly rude. I'm ignoring, uh-huh, uh-huh. Don't say uh-huh, you're not listening. If I 
I gave you a quiz after I got done, you wouldn't be able to get anything right. <sighs> I had to take a deep breath. It's getting too angry. This one isn't even people related. <laughs> this just happened like last week or something. And Kale kept doing it repeatedly because he knew it annoyed me. But the sound of styrofoam. Oh, it could be styrofoam on your hands. It could be styrofoam rubbing on any kind of surface. Oh, but the worst is when styrofoam rubs together. I kid you not, every time I hear it, I get goosebumps. And my hair's... Oh, it's like torture. I swear to God, if I had, like, the codes to nuclear bombs and the government gave them to only me, and I got kidnapped by some enemy country and they wanted to torture me... All they had to do is rub styrofoam together for maybe 20 minutes and I'd crack. I would. We'd be screwed because of styrofoam. Shit, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Not that I'm ever going to work for the government, but damn. <laughs> I just gave away a lot of information. <laughs> just kidding. Have styrofoam. This one has been a consistent one in my life for the last year. Dog owners who know their dogs are barking incessantly. 24-7 and do nothing about it. Our next door neighbor, <sighs> our next door neighbor has three dogs. I know for sure one of them's a Chihuahua, the other one's a Pomeranian, and I have no idea what the other one is. I think it's a mutt of some sort, but they're all really small dogs. And I kid you not, it's like all the time. Like right now, I'm friggin' amazed that they're not barking. Because they woke me up at 4 o'clock this morning, then again at 6, and then again at 7.30, and then of course my phone went off because my mother was texting me at 8.45 and I just said, screw it, I'll get out of bed! <laughs> the day I'm supposed to sleep in! Anyway, I'm getting off track. Those dogs, 24-7. And one of them sounds like he's getting strangled sometimes. And I'm like, shut up! Oh my god! Like, most of the time, I can just like, Breathe, turn, tune it out, tune it out, listen to music, do something else. But I was trying to read the other night, and I kid you not, for 45 minutes straight, the one that sounds like he's getting strangled is just going off. And I just snapped. I slammed my book closed. I went out in the backyard, and I was just like, shut up! <laughs> Please! Oh, I'm surprised I'm not losing hair. I mean, dogs barking really doesn't bother me that much, but when it is high-pitched and that annoying all the freaking time, yeah, it'll get to anyone. Anyone who says they can put up with that is freaking lying. This one happened to me about two days ago. I hate, okay, maybe hate's the wrong word, but I truly despise, oh, that's even worse. <laughs> I really, really, really don't like when you hold the door open for someone and they don't say thank you. It is something I don't have to do. I don't have to stand there and wait for you to walk in. I do not have to walk ahead of you and open the door for you. That is something I do to be nice to you. Just say thank you, damn it. That's all I need, okay? And I think I touched on this at the beginning of the video, but another pet peeve of mine, ironically, is that when you're in a bad mood, you tend to notice the little shit that pisses you off even more. It just, it screams out at you like you're in a bad mood. Hey, I annoy the shit out of you. Pay attention to me. And you do. <laughs> it's hard not to. And I hate that. I hate that I'm focusing on negative things. This is actually a very negative video and I'm very sorry for that. I hope it it at least amuses you because I've got some crazy facial expressions. I just got out of the shower and I look like shit. But... <laughs> it just, it all seems to come at you from all sides when you're already in a bad mood. All right, and to close out this video, this is perhaps, it's not my number one pet peeve, but oh my God, is it up there. It is up there with lying and cheating and being a douchebag. <laughs> Veiled insults. I mean, I guess I don't need to explain that, but I'm gonna anyway. <laughs> I hate veiled insults. And yes, I do hate them because it's like, it's like they're complimenting you, but then you go, wait a second, that wasn't a compliment. They just insulted me. And I'm not going to say it on this video because I don't want to incriminate anyone, but you already know what I'm talking about that happened at a dinner. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. That one was like, wow. 
Thanks. <laughs> I seriously weep for society, Sarah. I do. I weep for these people who think it's okay to be such an asshole and there's no consequence for it. Good thing I believe in karma, otherwise this would really get to me. Because I do. I believe in karma. I believe that one day, these douchey ass people will get what's coming to them. And I will sit there and point and laugh. Very, very hard. <sighs> wow, that was a lot of negativity. I'm sorry. I just had to let it out. This was like a vent session. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed at least looking at my crazy, because you know how crazy I can be. Um, that's it for now. I will see you next week. Bye-bye!